Hey guys, Chris here for Two Months Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to adjust the angle of the bridge and the tailpiece of a tunematic bridge. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without using too many special tools. This time we'll talk about setting up the bridge and the tailpiece on a Les Paul, SG, ESD35, and all other guitars with a tunematic bridge. It's important to get this right to avoid tuning issues and breaking strings. In case you enjoy this series, make sure to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell. It's really not hard to get this right. You just have to take a good look at it and avoid the extremes. Before you start adjusting the tailpiece, you have to make sure that the bridge and the whole guitar is set up the way you like it. If you want to know more about setting up your guitar, we have three videos for you. Just check out the description box under this video. If the break angle is too steep, the string will touch the edge of the bridge behind the saddle, right here. This can affect the tuning stability and your strings will possibly break earlier due to the extra friction. If the break angle is too flat, your strings can pop out of the saddles if you pick too hard. And also the sustain of the guitar can get way shorter because of that. It might even cause this sitar effect, which happens if the string doesn't stop vibrating at the saddle. Try to adjust the stop tail piece to a height where the strings sit tight in the saddles, but don't touch the edge of the bridge. This would be ideal. If you can't avoid the strings touching the bridge, make sure there's not too much pressure on them. Use a big flathead screwdriver or a coin to adjust the tailpiece. If it's too hard to turn the studs with the strings tuned, release the tension a little bit. Keep your eyes open for locking screws on tailpieces. Some modern tailpieces can have locking screws somewhere around this region and uh, you have to make sure those are loose before you start adjusting the stud. What's up with top wrap? Some players prefer top wrapping their strings on their tunematic bridge loaded guitar. Most of them will claim that it's easier to bend the same gauge strings. I will not comment on that today. It's a matter of taste really. But top wrapping the strings can be very helpful if the saddles are very low on your guitar. Having low saddles means that you have to stick to a flat break angle. Depending on your guitar's body and the neck angle, top wrapping the strings could be the only good way of making this flat break angle possible. All right, it's time for a test ride. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you guys think of top wrapping the strings. Have you ever tried it? Did it work? Let me know. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing a guitar yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. I don't know what you're talking about, son. <laughs> but <laughs> I cannot say but anymore. <laughs>